people will often say, well, our, our kids' school is different. We live in a small town. We live in a conservative state. My child's teacher is a Christian. I would say that some schools have gone farther down the rabbit hole than others. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, with this new Common Core scheme and the federalization of education, uh, that's starting first in the major cities in every state, right? So in Wisconsin, Milwaukee's gone, right? If you got your kid, big city in, in Wisconsin, the kids in Wisconsin are all getting the same diet of ideology. But in smaller towns, it hasn't quite got there yet or hasn't quite, quite got there fully. But, but even still, even if your kids are in a relatively safe place and, and it's a small school and there is still some oversight, the fundamental nature of the pedagogy, how they're being taught, even non-religious subjects, is really very screwy. It's not terribly intellectual. Uh, they're slipping in sexuality education mm -hmm. into all the different classrooms. They're using math and science and social studies, even physical education classes, as a way of reinforcing a certain set of liberal progressive values. So at the best, your kids are being pushed very hard left. At the worst, they're being downright indoctrinated. So there is really no place. And, and what's bad now is gonna get worse. There's no place where your kids can hide from this. Not to, and that doesn't even mention the data gather, how the, the feds are using your kids' public schools to gather all sorts of private data, how they're using your kids' schools, your kids, they're so something called uh, psycho uh, social emotional learning, right? SEL, social emotional learning, which is all a big, big all across the country where they're actually unqualified elementary school teachers are making psychological evaluations of your kids. Uh, that's yeah. happening even in the safest of schools now, and it's dangerous.